Hi guys, good to see you all. Welcome to Kids Yoga. My name is Jen Reese. If I haven't met your moms and dads and guardians and parents and whoever's sitting in the room with you. It's so nice to see all of you. I've missed you all terribly and I hope you're doing well. Well, a couple of things we need before we get started is we need a stuffed animal. And you guys know what this is for. It's for the end of class. So maybe you have a favorite one you can go find quickly. And in the meantime, parents or guardians or babysitters, if you have a cotton ball, just a plain white cotton ball or something light that the kids can blow or they can pretend. So it's not necessary. And just bring that to the yoga mat. And parents, um, you are also welcome to join your child if you'd like to experience what we do in kids yoga. So kids, when you're ready, come to your yoga mat and sit in crisscross applesauce. I'm just going to get a few of my things ready. And I have a makeshift singing bowl today because mine is at school. So I hope you can follow along with the new sound. All right, sit in crisscross applesauce. Your back is nice and tall and your hands are on your knees. And remember, when we ring the bell, we say shh. And as we do that, we're getting our bodies quiet, our minds quiet, and we're getting ready for yoga. So let's begin. Take a deep breath in and go shh. Again. Shh. One more time. Shh. Very good. Excellent job. So next we do is we say our hello song. And all the children know this song. So we're going to put our hands together and we're going to rub them and we're going to sing the song. Here we go. Sit down. Rub your, your hand. Sit, sit up tall. tall. Take a deep breath Take in. Deep breath. And say. Oh. Oh. Rub your hands. Sit up tall. Shake all your sillies out. Reach your arms up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And we say. Oh. Rub your hands, sit up tall, shake your legs out in front of you, take a deep breath in, and touch your toes, and say, oh, very good. So, come to a seated position, and let's practice one of our breathing exercises. This is called balloon breath. We put our hands down by our side and crisscross applesauce, we take a deep breath in, and as we blow out, we let all the air out of the balloon and go And we fill our body up like a balloon with air. And we release it and we go And one more time, take a deep breath in. And let all the air out and go Very good. The other breathing exercise we do, we can come to sit on our knees. And this is called Hero Pose. And we do a gentle tapping sound, and tapping is an exercise to relax. And when we tap our bodies, it calms us down. So take a deep breath in and let's hum. Hum. And like a gorilla, hit your chest and go hum. And like a monkey, tap your head. Hum. And get nice and quiet like rain. And lower yourself to child's pose. Shh. And let's do that a deep. Again, take a deep breath in. Hum. Like a gorilla. Hum. Like a monkey. Hum. And relax down to the ground like rain falling. Shh. Very good. Next, let's come back to crisscross applesauce. And we start to reach to the sky like a spider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a deep breath in. Give yourself a big hug and go. Give yourself some love. Take a deep breath in. And go. 
Then one more time, take a deep breath in and go. Now let's start in boat pose. Take your feet up in front of you and your hands down by your side. Let's lift our hands up and place them down and let's pick our feet up and place them down. Pick our hands up and place them down and pick our feet up. Let's go back and forth. Hands and feet and hands and feet and hands and feet. Now leave your feet there and raise your hands. And let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job. Let's cross our legs and let's come into boat into hands and knees. Let's tuck our toes and drop our bellies and look in front and say moo. Let's tuck our toes like angry cat and push our bellies up and say meow. Lower our bellies, look forward and say moo. Round our backs and say meow. One more time and say moo. And last time say meow. Lower your hips to your heels and stretch out nice and long in child's pose. Take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. Come to your hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips, and do downwards facing dog. And what does a dog say? Ruff, 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 ruff. Lower your knees, look up at the sky. And what does a coyote say? Oh! And what does the dog say? Ruff, 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 ruff. And what does the coyote say? Oh! One more time, downward dog. Ruff, 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 ruff. And say, oh, and come back and rest in child's pose. Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. Now let's come back to our hands and knees and extend one leg back and lift it up like a cat wagging its tail. And then see if you can balance and extend your other arm forward like you're reaching to shake somebody's hand. Let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Put your hand and knees down and stretch back to sleeping cat. Take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. Good. Come back up. Lift your other leg back and wag your tail. And then reach your other arm forward like you're saying hello. Let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Place your hands and knees down and stretch back to child's pose. Next, come forward. Press the downward facing dog. Go to push up pose and lower your belly on the ground. Now let's pretend we're a snake and we lift our head up and we take a deep breath in. And what does the snake say? And we lower down. Two more times. Take a deep breath in and lower down and say Sss. One more time. Take a deep breath in and lower down and say Sss. Push up to your hands and knees. Take your hips all the way back and rest in sleeping cat pose. Good. Walk your hands forward. And come to push-up pose. What do we do in push-up pose? We tap our chest ten times. Can you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Very good. Can you lower down on your belly again? And let's do shark pose. We clasp our hands behind our back. And we make our fin with our hands. We lift up our shark tail with our feet. We take a deep breath in. And what does the shark say? He says, rah, 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 rah. Good. Take a deep breath in. Lower your hands, push back. And go to kitty cat sleeping pose. Take a deep breath in. 
Take a deep breath out. Push to downward facing dog. Jump your feet forward to your hands. And can you touch your toes and your ankles and your knees and your hips and your belly and your heart, shoulder and your head? Can you stand in mountain pose? Can you take a deep breath in? Can you say, hello, sun? And can you say, hello, toes? Can you say, hello, sun? And can you say, hello, heart? Can you shake your hands 10 times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. freeze. Can you keep your hands down by your side and jump 10 times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. freeze. Good, take a deep breath in. How does your heart feel? Is it beating fast or is it beating slow? Check. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. freeze. Can we jump up and down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. freeze. Can you check your heart again? See if it's beating fast or slow. And let's use our breath to slow it down. Take a deep breath in. Touch your toes. Take a deep breath out. Take a deep breath in and come to your heart. Good. Can you reach your legs and arms apart and come into a star pose? And can you start rocking side to side? Can you go one, two, three, four, five? Can you hold and balance it? Good. Take a deep breath in. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Can you hold and balance? Very good. Can you come all the way down into frog pose? Put your feet together. Put your knees together. And let's see if we can count and jump on three. One. And what does the frog say when it jumps? Ribbit. That's right. One, two, three. Ribbit. One, two, three. Ribbit. One, two, three. Ribbit. One, two, three. Ribbit. Very good. Can you take your hands from there? Can you walk them out to push-up pose? And can you tap your chest at ten times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Lower down on your belly. And now we're going to do ladybug pose. Can you take one leg up and stretch your heel to your bottom? Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Can we do that with the other leg? One, two, three, four, five. Good. And we grab both feet and come into bow pose or flying ladybug. Grab your ankles or you can grab the back of your pants. You grab them, take a deep breath in, and you push your feet into your hands and lift your feet and knees and shoulders up off the ground. And let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Let everything go. Come up to your hands and knees and sit back in child's pose. Very good. Take two breaths in and breathing out. Take two breaths in and breathing out. Come back to our hands and knees. Let's tuck our toes and press the downward facing dog. Nice big long downward dog. What does the dog say? Can you jump your frog feet forward? And can you sit in frog pose? We're going to go from frog pose to star pose. We're going to take a deep breath in. And as we lift up, we breathe out. And we go all the way down, breathe in. As we lift up, we breathe out. And we breathe in. And we breathe out. And we breathe in. And we breathe out. Really good job. Let's shake it out. All right, can you just bounce a little bit? Good. Good. Okay, great. Now let's do airplane pose. We're going to put one foot forward. And we're going to put one foot back. Now, in order to balance, the thing that helps us the most is looking at one thing. So maybe you have your stuffed animal, and you want to grab that stuffed animal and put it in front of you somewhere. Good. And you're going to put one foot in front, one foot in back. 
Let's take our arms out to airplane wings. And then lean over our front leg. Pick up our back leg. And let's try and bounce for the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Did you do that? Were you able to balance and look at your leg and see if your animal helped you? Very good. Let's put the other foot forward and the other foot back. Take a deep breath in. Reach your arms out to airplane wings. Lean your body over your front leg. Slowly lift up your back foot and look at your animal. And see if you can balance for the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Pick up your animal and give it a big hug. Nice job, guys. Well, let's come back down to the floor. And we're going to sit in crisscross applesauce. And I want you to take your legs from crisscross applesauce to butterfly pose. And butterfly pose is putting the soles of our feet together and opening our knees to the side like a book. So if you had a book, the book would be closed. And then if you open the book, the pages would fall open. Take your hands and grab your ankles and just rock side to side. And we're going to be a butterfly. Maybe you'd like to hear my butterfly song now. Okay, let's get my butterfly song. Here we go. A second, I'm having technical problems. Here we go. All right, all right, here we go. Can you rock side to side like a butterfly? Now, maybe your butterfly is pink or blue, orange or red, green or purple, brown or yellow, white or orange. So flap your wings. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Now maybe you can lift up one leg and you can open your butterfly wings. Good. Now the butterfly is going to go to sleep. So can you take your hands together and can we pretend that we're a sleeping butterfly? Sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly. this before. Good job. Maybe you can throw the cotton 
fall with one foot. Try again. Put on your toes. Lift your foot up and throw the cotton ball with your foot. Very good. Let's try the other foot. We have two feet. Pick it up. Maybe you can catch it. One more time. Pick it up. Very good. Well, now can you lay down on your ground in star pose? Good job. Open up like a star, really wide on your yoga mat. Take a nice deep breath in. Can you lift your feet up to the sky and breathe in? Can you lower them down and breathe out? <sighs> One more time, lift them up, breathe in. Lower them down and breathe out. <sighs> Calming our bodies down, take a deep breath in. And lower down and breathe out. Really good job. Well, if you have your stuffed animal, I want you to get it and bring it to your yoga mat with you. And I want you to lay down on your yoga mat. I don't have my stars today. I'm so sorry. I should have them another time because all my teaching supplies are in the school. So I'm going to ask you to lay down on your mat with your stuffed animal or on the ground. And you can place the animal on your belly. And you can take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And your animal is riding the wave of your breath of your belt. And when you breathe in, the animal goes up. And when you breathe out, the animal goes down and you empty your belly with air. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, you stand there, and I'm going to tell you the story about my peaceful place. Now, imagine a place that you like to be. Maybe it's your bedroom. Maybe it's the beach. Maybe it's the park. Maybe it's your sofa. But imagine you're there right now, and listen to my story. I'm going to dim my lights here. If you have lights at home, maybe you want to dim them too. Good. Come into a quiet, peaceful place. And just lay down on the ground and have your animal on your belly. And take one more breath in and one more breath out. Now imagine you are in that peaceful place. And here you feel safe and you feel happy. And explore your peaceful place. What do you see? Maybe you're in your bedroom and you see your toys. Maybe you're on the beach and you hear the ocean. Maybe you're in the mountains in the snow and you feel your feet crunching in the snow. Just imagine what's around you. Is the sun out? Is it cloudy out? If the sun is out, you can feel it on your face, nice and warm. And you can feel it on your chest, making your heart feel warm and safe. You feel it on your belly. You feel it on your legs and your toes and your fingers. And when you feel the warm sun, it makes us feel happy inside. Yeah. And maybe there's something that you like to do when you're in this place. If you're outside, maybe you would hear animals. And what animals would you hear? Or maybe you hear a river or an ocean, and maybe you can hear that. Maybe you hear the birds squawking, a snake crawling, a bird chirping, a monkey squawking. Just imagine. And while you're there, smell the flowers, smell the trees, smell the air. It's all so wonderful. Maybe you're doing something fun. You're riding the wave. You're at the park on a swing. Maybe you're skiing down a mountain. But just imagine when you're having fun. Now return to your yoga mat in your mind. And remember to breathe in and breathe out. And bring your attention to your breath. 
remember to be happy, safe, and calm. Well done, guys. Excellent job. Can you say, may I be happy? Can you say, may I be safe? Can you say, may I be strong? And can you say, may I share love? All right. Thank you for yoga today. We're going to say our goodbye song, all right? Can you get my music? Let's put our hands together. And let's sing. My little light, that's your little light. Your little light. Your little light. My little light, that's your little light. Namaste. Well, thank you, my friends, for coming to yoga. It was so nice seeing you today. And I hope to see you again soon. Namaste. I love you. Bye.